Jennifer Tompkin, I'm Head of Business Services and I work for PepsiCo. <laughs> very, long, very, very long and circuitous route. Um, I'd been in IT for, well, probably for 30 years before I came fully into FM, but I'd been involved in FM from the outset. I was building computer rooms, I was managing computer rooms, managing health and safety, all of those good things. So all of those considerations that I now consider a day-to-day um, uh, you know, role, you know, within my existing role, you know, I was doing it a very, very long time ago. But I, then I, by default, took on the FM team in, in addition to technical operations about 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. And I now manage FM explicitly and property management. Level six. I wanted to set up an accreditation programme for my team and across the UK and I wanted it to be something that was perpetuated long after I'd so far perhaps retired. Not that it's on the cards anytime soon, but I, what I wanted to do was to make sure that FM was a recognised profession within the organisation, just as other teams are, you know, for instance in finance, etc. I really wanted to elevate the status really of what we do. I think more than anything what it's taught me to do is to question and question and question. I've been in FM a long time, lots of established and practiced um, strategies, but for me it was a case of acknowledging that they're not necessarily right because they've been working. It was to really to question then to reapply the learning, to extend some of the things that I was already doing and perhaps to, to rethink totally other ways of doing things. I just learned a lot from the programme altogether. Not to underestimate the amount of work that will be undertaken, but to enjoy it, clearly to enjoy it, because it's a very enjoyable process, especially if you are intent on in applying it in your role you know, back in the office. And as you go along, not necessarily at the end of the programme only, um, and the networking is really good, enjoying sort of studying with other people, learning from what they do, um, and to enjoy really taking, your, taking the journey to a next level and to, to help make the, uh, you know, to represent the profession uh, and take that forward into other organisations potentially as well. Uh, I had thought of going straight to a master's degree, but in all honesty, it felt the right route um, to travel along, especially as the Institute is the largest in the UK and recognised in the way that it is. But I felt that it would be a benefit to everyone because I, I, the, the challenge with, a, with perhaps a master's degree, etc., is not always that you know you don't you achieve something absolutely wonderful. But what happens is is that you don't get to perpetuate that and continue it within the institute and within the peer group. Um, I think sometimes you get the, you gain the qualification, then you go on and you get another job or whatever it is you do. But I think what we've done here, and I think what the other achievers have, have achieved today, is to really highlight what we can achieve as professionals and to extend the profession and to make it more recognised. I think it's benefit to the organisation. I'm not sure they'll always appreciate that just yet, but in the fact that they have professional FMs uh, within the business, uh, I think that's incredibly important. I think it's becoming increasingly recognised uh, and I think it elevates the, the company's status in terms of uh, being an attractive employer uh, to many, many people. You know, it's a very large business that we're in. FM spans such a diverse range of, of roles and applications. Uh, and I th certainly think it helps endorse the, you know, the company's reputation overall. I, I have thought about going on to level seven because I had originally thought about the masters. Um, that's potentially something I might do in the next couple of years. Uh, despite the fact that retirement is looming, um, allegedly, uh, I think it's still be a great thing to do. I think it's a great example to the other people who are coming up behind me as well. I think it was a personal reflection. I, I really do think that that was quite a revelation to me. I didn't expect that. Um, the reflection, the thinking about how to prepare for the study, thinking about how to respond in a way that wasn't only just to achieve the, um, the accreditation, but actually to, to be meaningful along the way and then to be able to apply it. I think that was great, to go back into the office and say, well, actually I learned something yesterday, I might just look at doing that differently. I think that was brilliant, really enjoyed that part. <laughs>